I'm here today at Earlham train station talking to my old friend Darren Goulden, the organiser of Earlham Live, which has run successfully for the last few years. And he's going to tell us all about the 2023 event. Take it away, Dan. I am, yes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's our seventh one. It's been running since 2016. Um, so, from the likes of Billy Ocean from the first one, this year, headlining, we've got Blue on the Saturday night. Uh, Heather Small is coming down to, uh, to headline Sunday, which is fantastic. Um, so we start on a Friday night, so Friday the 2nd of June, we have um, the tribute night and we've got some brilliant tribute bands coming. Uh, Noasis is a favourite of ours, so Noasis always end the night on the Friday, which yeah. is great. Um, we're working with Queen this year as well, so Queen's coming. Uh, we've got a Jerry Cinnamon as well, which we've never had before, which we think is great, we can get the crowd going. Uh, but yesterday we booked a Beatles tribute. Did you? Yeah, we've got a Beatles tribute, so uh, we've been after one for a while, a really good one. Um, so we've got four tribute bands on the Friday night, which is a great night. So from half four till about ten o'clock, um, it gets packed there. It gets packed yeah. on the Friday. It's a really good night. Then on the Saturday, early start, we open at twelve. Um, first artist is on at uh, two o'clock, which is Martin Kemp doing a DJ set for us. Spandau Ballet. Spandau Ballet, yeah. So we've had his mate Tony Hadley. He, he was there year one. Um, so he's he's coming on. Uh, we've got. Stalwarts of Ilham and Z really, of, of the festival. We've got the likes of uh, Fats and Small Ben, and we've got Absent Five because they're just brilliant. Oh, you know. please, that yeah, yeah, they meet everybody, they, they dance in the crowd, it's just really good. We've got Sabrina Washington from the from the band Mystique, which is a first for us as well. I think they have three number ones, and she, she's fabulous. Then we go back to the 80s with a band called Then Jericho, which yeah. again, Mark Shaw, lead singer, Brilliant, brilliant, you know, artist, really good, uh, brilliant frontman. Uh, and then it's headlined by Blue, so all four members of Blue Touchwood will be there. Um, Sunday, again, 12 o'clock doors open, first artist on, he's, uh, well, it's my favourite, it's Toya. I was going to ask you about Toya. Yeah, she's coming, mate. How have you managed to secure her? Well, we just, it's, this is the third time, she, so I think she came in 2017, 2018, she's not been for five years. Mm. And um, she looks better now than she did five yeah. years ago, don't she? I've seen so. those, uh, the ones she did in the Sunday Club. Yeah, yeah. With, with Robert Fripp. Yeah, she still does it, yeah. Fabulous. Is he coming down, Robert Fripp, you know? Well, I'm surmising he, he, I'm surmising he will, to be honest. I'm, I'm hoping he will. Oh, really? I mean, they, they are touring fun. together as well, so they are doing a tour together. Yeah. Uh, well, he just plays the guitar and she just mm. wears not she a great deal. She just has to stand there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but it's, it's brilliant. Deal. And um, <laughs> she's been a, a massive crowd pleaser at Earlham Live, so... Uh, when she came down last time, she just uh, she did a full hour set, and she oh she has three or four of her own hits, but um, she does all the other stuff. So she does like White Wedding and Sweet Child of Mine, anything rocky yeah, and rocking, yeah. really good. I think she did the Clash as well last time, which went down really well, you know. So uh, she's just a star, and mm. uh, like for sixty-two years old, mm. what a performer, what a performer. Heather uh, Small as well. Heather Small's headlining. Um, We've got Brutus Gold's coming back with his love train uh, that was here last year. Um, one of the most popular acts from last year. And um, we listened to what people say. Mm. And it was like we need him back. So we've moved him to the Sunday. Because he was on the Saturday last year. Um, we've got the... Is it, just, is it just the one stage this year? Uh, no, no. Well, I'm going to come to that. Oh, good I'm, I'm going to come just to testing that. testing him. Because it's, it's special, you see, this year. It's huge. Um... We've got In Spiral Carpets coming, so Tom Hinley, the lead singer in Spiral Carpets, has got his own band. So he comes down um, and does all the In Spiral hits, which is fabulous. Uh, and then we've got the Lottery Winners, which oh, is yeah, my little yeah. secret. They're not secret because they're absolutely fabulous, but it's one of the first yeah, times we've actually got... Down, yeah. yeah, they're only from Lee. Um, but they're a current band, which is unlike us, because obviously, you know, we've, we've always been a festival where, you know, it's always been you know, bands from the 80s, 90s, yeah, noughties, yeah. stuff like that. But... They are fabulous, and when you go and see them live, he talks you through the chorus, so everybody knows the songs. They're brilliant on stage, and I think they're our secret weapon this year. I think, I think Sunday, um, Sunday six o'clock, I think they're on. I think that's going to be absolutely yeah. fabulous. Yeah, going to be really, really good. Um, as mentioned before, um, we have got um, a second stage this year, but it's going to be in the form of a massive dance tent. Oh, so really? it's going to be covered. It's going to be a second stage. It's going to be covered. Um, I've had a lot of trouble with the Arts Council because even though we, we, the original one we did, we got some funding for the first Arts Council for the for the grassroots stage, 
uh, they've just you know they've just ignored us for the last two or three years. You know, even though You're right, is it? no, so and we've got a genuine young talent. Yeah, and they've changed the way you do the Arts Council grant. You, you know, you do ninety-two pages. It takes you three or four days to fill it in, and then it takes them three weeks to come back and go. Oh well, actually, you didn't do this quite right, and you didn't do that quite right, and uh, you, you know, and you know, it needs to be more diverse. You know, there's no, mm. there's not me and Phil can do, to be honest. Mm. Um, so, it is what it is on that side. So, what we've decided to do. Round it be a grassroots stage this year, it's going to be an entertainment stage. We've got Bongo Bingo coming. Or, <laughs> a, 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 it's Boogie Bingo, actually. But So we've got a, a Boogie Bingo for the, the first hour in each of the... I think it starts at 3 o'clock, the dance tent. Runs all the way through uh, till 9 o'clock, uh, until the, the uh, headliners on the main stage. So we've got Boogie Bingo. It's the 50th anniversary of Wigan Casino. So we've got some Northern Soul coming down as well, which is fantastic. Uh, and then from about six o'clock till nine o'clock, we turn into like a club land. So we get some artists. When we did We're Buzzing last year, yeah. we realised how good the dance tent was and how yeah. people enjoyed it. It was great. It was rammed, yeah. So that's what we're doing. And this tent's going to be, so effectively, the VIP area is, we're going to have two tents the same size, one for the VIP and one for, it's going to have full production in there, full staging. For the bingo, there's going to be 30 benches in there for the first hour. When the bingo's finished, we'll be taking the benches outside and making a, like a little village on the right-hand side, which, again, is nice and cute, and I think means somewhere I can sit. And as I said, the dance mm. side on it, it was really good. We've got some uh, stuff for kids as well, so we've got... Proper family festival. Yeah, yeah, we've got some really good stuff. You know, we've got silent disco going on. Uh, we've got loads of stuff going on. I'd say we've just been talking about some dinosaurs and a few other things, so there'll be loads of things there that and people can come. Fully catered? Yeah, I mean this year, oh my God, we've got, we've got, so we've, we always have Greek, Indian, uh, Thai, we've got Korean this year, uh, we've got a brilliant pizza guy this year, obviously the best ice cream in the world we've got from uh, our friend Daniel, um, yeah, a real good selection. And beer? Yeah, the beer's going to be good this year, so the is beer, Holtz's? Holtz's is, uh, Holtz's is mm -hmm. supplying all my beer, um, but um, whereas I've only had Holtz's product, um, slightly changing it this year. So yes, we'll have crystal. Yes, we'll have crystal gold. Uh, but people have been asking for a, a premium beer. Mm. Um, so working with Holtz is they've come up with Camden Hells, which is part of the Budweiser group. So um, our premium lager this year will be Camden Hells, and I think that'll be fantastic. Um, oh, boxes six. What yeah. about Salford Rum? Are they? Are they? Um, are you more dealing with? Yeah, well, Salford Rum, they deal with Kingsland Wines. Yeah, so I'm saying, yeah, I've yeah. just got to, I've just got to confirm with Kingsland mm. Wines what they're doing. So, so all the local industries are benefiting as well, aren't they? The yeah, it's, it, yeah. No, it's, it's really good. We had Zamigori in here last year. Yeah. You know, everybody sponsors the event. They come down to the VIP area. You know, the likes just showing you Shelley before, didn't it, from Mojo Childcare? Shelley was the very first sponsor of Earlham Live, and she sponsored it every year. Um, and without businesses like that, you know, it's nice that we have Boohoo and it's nice that we have Talk Talk and Freedom Fibre. Um, but it's the others, it's the it's the Earlham Estates uh, that's really important. You know, it's the Mojo Child Care, it's the people that, were the, that, that believed in us at the start and have stayed Still with, with us. Yeah. You know, they like to benchmark and stuff, you get friends there and you, you work relationships and they come every year and people like Multisol and I've got really good friends at, the, at these places where They've gone above and beyond for us every year, you know, supplying us with the water that we needed or, or, yeah. or with the tracking that we needed. And yeah. without forming them bonds with the businesses, um, it would be impossible for us to put on the calibre of event we put on to yeah. pay the amount of money we pay for artists. Of course. Yeah, How's the ticket sales going? Tickets have gone brilliantly, to be honest. Uh, we Everybody waits for the early bird. People know it's a proper early bird offering. It's not a 10%, 20% or 10 quid cheaper. It's literally half price. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, offer still on? No, no, early birds sold are out. finished. Yeah, we we, we sold it. Uh, well, I think we're 65% full. So um, early birds were sold 65% of. Uh, we sold 55% early birds. We've, we've done another 10% of the tickets since the early birds went off in like the 1st of January, I think they went off. So um, can you buy just a one day ticket, a yep, two day, yep, a three can, day, yep. any permutation of that? Yeah, we actually do. Individual one-day tickets, or you, or you can buy a weekend ticket. We don't really see a need for a two-day ticket. Mm. Um, but you, I think it's the early bird offering was 59 quid for the three days, and I think it was 20 quid for kids. Um, it's gone up to 99 quid now, mm. so it's 99 quid for the full weekend. Or it's, I think it's a 
40, a 40 and a 25. It might be 89 for the weekend, I'm not quite sure, but it's, I mean, it's great value for money when you yeah. see the lineup you've got. How many attendants? About 5,000? Yeah, so we were very, very close to capacity last year. I think we got about 4,800 in on the Saturday, maybe 4-4 four, four on the Sunday, 4-5 or something on the thingy, mm. which it's just that nice, happy place. You know, it means there's no, yeah, no yeah, mad yeah. queues. And, I mean, we were six-minute queue on the bar, you know, for beer. and it, 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 that you can't, and If people have been to festivals or they've been to any of the larger or even smaller festivals, you try and get served at the bar or you try and go yeah. to the toilet, it's impossible. At Earlham Live, it's the thing to do. <laughs> As I said, we had, we had conversations there this year with some 18 and 19 year olds and um, my words to them are kind of what you're doing here because it's a retro festival really, isn't it? So it's retro bands, you know, really for the mums and dads rather than them. And they said, look, I've done cream fields, I've done part life. You can't get a drink, you can't go to time. Yeah. The atmosphere is a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit naughty, a bit yeah, yeah. yeah. He said, but we come here, everybody's smiling, Everybody's mm. having a great time. You can walk to the bar, five minutes, you know. He said, and you can get a picture, four by a picture. You can, yeah. uh, he said, so we only have to go bar like once every, I think he said once every hour, and I went, four pints in an hour. So uh, it's the 2nd to the 4th of June? It is, yeah. yeah. Can, can we in Carleton? Absolutely, for the full weekend, absolutely. You're invited, yeah. Be there. I've got to ask you this as well. You did Buzzing Festival later on, um, when was that September? Yeah, it? September 17th. Have you got really? plans to do future? Yeah, I've got plans to do that. So I am at the moment working on another festival with, with a gentleman called Todd Terry, and he's a um, Todd Terry. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah. a big, big name, and uh, we're trying to get something away. We were going to do it in September. It looks as if it's going to be moved to April, just because the the calibre of the artist that we've got um, just takes just takes longer to secure and and the dearer. Mm. Um, but me and Phil have always Will that said, be an outdoor or an indoor tent? Mm. It'll be an outdoor event, but it'll be just inside a big massive tent or two big tents, depending yeah. on capacity. Uh, possibly at the airport, at city airport, just depends. And, mm. um, the one I am really interested in, so I am doing an event at Christmas, um, and it's not a, it might be a paid event yet, but it's going to be everything's for charity, so it's going to be for the garden centre and stuff like that. So... Um, last year, a friend of mine, Stacey, she does the stalls and does like a little Christmas market, if you like, for the garden centre. And we formed a bit of a committee to get together to to do something really good. Um, I don't see why you have to jump on the train and you have to go to, to Manchester markets when we can do something in Earlham. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'm getting quite giddy with that at the moment. We're, we're, all, <laughs> we're all working on that. So, you know, we're hoping to get a, a portable ice rink in. We're going to do a bauble hunt at Santa Dash. Right. You know, you'll be able to see Father Christmas. Uh, the whole thing, we're going to have fair rides there. We're going to have... A full hit. Donner and Blitzen. We've got a couple of donkeys coming. Um, so everything we're trying to do, we're trying to make it a special day and we'll have loads of stalls and stuff like Where's that. Where's that location? Is it so top it's, secret? No, no, it, it will be at Princess Park. So we'll be using various different places in Princess Park. And uh, that's what we want to do. We want to put it all together. Yeah. Uh, I get asked quite often... Um, that some local businesses want to get involved with community products and and um, this one will need their help. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're working on that and we, we've had our first meeting and, and you could tell I was committed because I'd organised the meeting and I didn't realise it was half 12 on Derby Day. <laughs> Just kick off. <laughs> um, and we won. Yeah, we won. Well, we yeah, won. I mean, we I, won. I mean, I purpose, I'm doing this meeting. We're sat, we're sat on that table there. Yeah. I'm just doing this meeting and... Uh, Stacey's a City fan and she showed me the phone after about 60 minutes, she went, oh, we're winning 1-0. And I've not even looked at my phone, I was being dead professional, you know, doing this meeting. No. And I was like, like, I couldn't. And then everyone, I think a couple went to order some more drinks, so I looked at my phone and Rashford had just scored and I went, oh, it's 2-1, oh, it's 2-1. <laughs> so yeah, that was really, a good day. Yeah. Last question, Baron. You very kindly last year gave us some Competition tickets yep. for Earlham Live. Would that still stand? Yeah, this absolutely. Year? Yeah, we can do a couple of full weekend uh, tickets for Brilliant, you there. We can man. do that. We can do that. Yeah. So watch Salford Media for further details. The event runs from the second to the fourth of June. It does. It's on Facebook. It's on all social media. Yeah, it's on Instagram. It's on Facebook. Yeah, everywhere. It's everywhere. Come down and support your local. It's local people, and it? it's, it's great what Darren's doing, it really is. And uh, it's a great festival, honestly. Three days of fun. Come down, you won't be disappointed, I guarantee you that. Okay? I'll we'll see you soon. Got it. See you there. See you there. Bye. Go on, bugger off. <laughs>